Okay, so there's a, similar to the last drawing, but there's um, this faint drawing here. So let's see what we can do with that. Now, if you want to do the land, somebody else has said, you know, can you go, you know, do a loose drawing? Well, of course. Oh my. Okay. So really push this drawing. Okay. I like to start excuse me. I like to start at cervical vertebrae number seven. That's my favorite place. So that's right here. The back of the neck. Let's see if it works with the wash. Ooh, there's a better ink. So the other one was not the paper, it was the ink. So this is cool. So this is a Mont Blanc pen. Outrageous. This pen's so sexy, you can talk to it and say, you're just sexy. You know you are. You are. You're just a sexy pen. Yes, you are. There you go. So I bought this pen years ago. I didn't pay that much for it. But it's going for 900 almost almost $1,000 now. So I'll get some wild emails. But I bought it probably 25 years ago. And I bought it on a uh, closeout. At an art supply store, and they knew me really well. I was kind of sponsored in a way. You know, they took really good care of me. I'm not there anymore. And um, so they would tell me when the pens were going on closeout. You know, so I probably got this pen for a few hundred bucks, but it's worth a thousand. So. So you want to be thinking around. Draw through. So you totally get lost in it. So the weight's going to be on this leg. So this is going to be have a, a straight booty, booty band. But you want to, you see how Michelangelo, he draws like that and then he brings it down. You know, he draws really well for a dead guy. Okay, and since this leg's got all the weight on it, we'll let this one hang down. I think one of Michelangelo's favorite songs, he used to sing it to him. You know, he had stressful times, you know, because he got a lot of commissions. We were always jealous of him. So we used to sing him, good, you know, bedtime songs. You know, does your butt hang low? He used to love that. He might, he would laugh. Does your butt hang low when you're traveling to and fro? He would just laugh. He was a big guy, but he was sensitive. You know, he was nice. There you go. So you can go ahead and put in the... Put in 
the shadow if you want. You know, they all have their own personalities. You know, Michelangelo was sensitive. Leonardo da Vinci was always daydreaming. God, we're like, where are you, Matt? You know, where are you, Leo? Are you in the room? Let's see, what do we want to do with this arm? Let's just bring it straight out. Um, Mona was a sweetheart, and she was, she used to pose for everybody, but never nude. She wouldn't do that, which was kind of a bummer because she was hot. Um, Let's see, Rubens was just flawlessly perfect, nice guy, always had time, always studying, it was really cool. And uh, let's see, who else? Van Gogh was batshit crazy, he was so freaking out of his mind. All right, let's give it, I like to do these ponytails because it tells what direction the head's going. Cambiasso was always on time, very punctual. His watch was weird, it was like this little Thing that the sun had to go on. But he'd look at it, you know, and see where the sun was, and it would point. And man, if you weren't on time, he would be pissed. He's like, I'm leaving. I'm out of here, you know. And uh, he stressed everybody out. His horses were stressed out. Everybody was stressed. You know, you're always stressed around combat. We loved him. You know, he was really talented. He liked his boxes. Uh, let's see who else. Rembrandt was great. He was horny. He was always with the girls. It's like, Where's Rembrandt? You know, just follow the, the latest hot girl from the town, and he was there. Um, let's see, who else? Who else did we talk about? Okay, now we can just go ahead and touch this. And when you touch it, it melts the ink. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, we're going to make the light go, obviously, this way, because we're casting a shadow here on the booty. Uh, Rubens liked the big butt girls. He was fun. He was always cracking me up. He was just saying, I like big butts. And me, eh, nothing's changed. I was a student. You know, I know I wasn't born with the greatest talent, so I just work really hard. Some people are born with talent. Some people are just born going to work hard. I was born knowing to work hard. So that's my big thing. I love to study. But these guys had talent. Oh, Oy, I was the only Jew, you know, so it was kind of fun. They always made fun of me. So Sheldon, we like this. How about you? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so this ink works. I'm gonna try some of these other ones. Cause what I did is I broke this pen I'm really upset years ago. This is an Omos, it was a really expensive pen and I busted it, pissed me off. So I'm gonna try to dip it. I was always wondering when I'm gonna have an opportunity to use it as a dip pen. So that's what we're gonna do today. So here we go. So it feels good to just be teaching at my school and teaching online. So real selective these days. I don't feel the need to be, you know, 20, almost 30 years in a college classroom. That's enough. So I never expected that to happen. You know, I'm, I'm, I work, you know, I'm an artist, so I'm always working. I never expected to be in the classroom, but it was a good... It was a good run. But at our school, man, we have fun. We have a good time. So if you ever, you know, want to be in-house, come on by. Just go to Sheldon's Art Academy online to see the address. If not, the videos will give you the same thing. And uh, this is for our way of saying thank you to the world for being nice. And we're we'll get you... Uh, some education like this. Okay, so that's kind of fun. A 
glue some edges. Okay, that's cool. Let's see how long that takes. 10 minutes, we're right on there. So that's the model right there. And that's the pose. So you really, really get in there and uh, just, you know, as you know, the great philosopher Jiminy Cricket said, only let the model be your guide. All right, let's do some more. <laughs> 